What's up guys? Welcome to this vlog. So, just came back from the gym. Um, pretty interesting day ahead. Tomorrow I have the Tony Robbins event. So I have a shit ton of work to do before then. Uh, also have to see a couple friends because I haven't seen them in forever. But um, yeah, as I said, try to pump out more of these vlogs. It's very, very interesting to see, like, look back at my old videos and see periods where, you know, I'm vlogging regularly and how confident and free-flowing shit is then compared to when I'm not vlogging regularly. So that's very interesting to see. But um, as I said, from next month, you're gonna get three vlogs, and this is a guarantee, no fucking around, because um, I have it on paper. You get three vlogs a week, 12 vlogs a month, and then after that, I'm gonna try and go for like two videos a week, separate, you know, like the walk and talk, off the cuff, freestyle shit. So aren't you guys excited? Let's cue the intro in three, two, one. So one thing that is very interesting, funnily enough, is obviously, as you guys know, this video would have, or the giveaway announcement would have already been posted by now, but I, I gave away a brand new packaged iPhone 7. And I was talking to Filippo last night, because um, obviously he decided the winner. Um, and I said, you know, like it's all cool and stuff that we're appreciating things and we're so gracious at like, at a time when everything's going well. Um, but we were talking about the past and some of the hardships we've both gone through. And we look at it now and we're like, you know, just thank you so much. We needed that. And uh, I said, I just pray to God that when worst times come, uh, when worst times come, that I stay present to that and I appreciate it for what it is. There have been a couple of quite shitty circumstances, even the last two, three months, even with all this, you know, these good times, good uh, business times, good social times, there have been a couple of shitty things, but uh, I've stayed pretty present to that. That conversation was last night. Funnily enough, the next day, it's so, <laughs> I swear someone's testing me. Um, my iPhone, I don't know if you can see that. It's, it's, Right? Do you see the response on that? Um, just got out of the gym, plugged in my earphones to uh, listen to some music, uh, and uh, earphones didn't work, and then soon this phone just like started breaking down. Funnily enough, last week, I, it's a small crack, but I cracked my screen for the first time ever. I've never cracked my screen. Um, so just as I'm giving away an iPhone 7, I think I might need to buy myself a new one, so that's another 800 pounds spent. Um, what can I say? Like. I, I don't know if I'll have to, but I think this is a really cool lesson. You know, like, it's all cool and it's all fine to stay really, you know, really great, grateful when things are going amazing, but when things are going really shitty, I think that's when, like, a person, a true, like, the true test of a person's character is, so, um, funny little circumstances, I guess. Uh, hopefully, I don't have to buy a new phone, uh, but uh, it appears as though I do, so I'll keep you updated on that situation. So guys, little update, Mama Gadget is driving me to the Apple store. Here is the old box. Um, so what I'm gonna try to do is, it just stopped working like completely. So I remember I've, I've, I've never like broken a, a phone, lost a phone. One time uh, my iPhone broke, I was on holiday and the screen just went black and it, it just wouldn't change. And I remember I went into Apple store, I'm like, oh shit, this is gonna cost me. But it was less than a year since I had bought it. Um, obviously I had the receipt online and um, it wasn't really my fault. Like there's, there's nothing I could have done about it. And it's sort of same thing with this. I didn't, it's not a matter of like breaking the screen, dropping it in water, dropping it in and it screwing up. It, it literally did, did just, glitch out and just stop working so um it's been less than a year so hopefully they'll hook me up if not then i'll have to drop 800 and buy myself a new iphone so guys here at westfield london off to the apple store thank you So, weighed up my options and um, iPhone 7 Plus, 128 gigs, just dropped another 800 pounds. Whatever these things happen, just gotta ride through with a smile on your face. Boom. Rah. Boom. Brand new iPhone 7 
plus. There it is. So guys, after that whole iPhone fiasco, that was a lot of my time, but I tried to clinch back the day, do a shit ton of work. Um, right now, I actually have, um, so Bob, my business mentor, I've flown him in from Amsterdam. So he is landing in like 30 minutes, but we are meeting up at one of my clients, James Taylor's house, because um, Bob and I are actually gonna sleep there for the next four days because we have the Tony Robbins event and he lives like five minutes away from Excel Center. So, gotta pack up all my crap because I won't be home for like four days. Uh, it's like a mini little trip, I guess. But um, yeah, gotta pack up my crap and then we have dinner at one of my favorite places, Duck and Waffle. So we're back at the crib with James yeah, Taylor crib. himself. Yeah. Well, this crib. The man, Mom the man, the one, the only. The one and only. And the one and only view. Jesus, that is so literally that. something else. Wow. What's up? Ah, long What's time up? I see. <laughs> Welcome back on the vlog. Thank you. So guys, we're here at Duck and Waffle, here with James, as well as Paul Hope, if I can get that in the frame. Um, they want to bring my vlog camera or anything, they're pretty bitchy about that here. But um, just enjoying a meal, nice to finally catch up with everyone. Paul finally landed, I haven't seen him in like two months or something like that. But um, yeah, it's always cool connecting people, so James just met, Bob just met. Connections. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this vlog. Um, I'm actually ending off on my iPhone 7 Plus. Just had the first day of the Tony Robbins event. Literally just sat here, finished editing this. So um, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. It means the world to me. I hope you took something from the message. Um, obviously it was a bit frustrating. Um, I don't want to paint this picture that you know spending that amount of money on a new phone wasn't like, didn't hurt a little. Um, but at the end of the day, I understand these things happen. Um, and then that's why you put money aside for shit like this. Um, and that's why you need to be clever with the money, which I haven't been in the past. Um, so, if you enjoyed this video, please do like, it means the world to me. And uh, we'll cue the outro. Three, two, yeah. Styling, no. Dissing, but got pictures with me, smiling, no.